Hello everyone. I, Ms. Pooja Patle, Assistant Professor, Tulsi Ramji Gaikwar Patil College of Engineering, Nagpur. Today in this session, we'll see about V model in software testing and quality assurance subject. So what is V model? How it works? We'll see its advantages, disadvantages, its concept, its diagrammatic representation. So we have lots of models like spiral model, waterfall model, V model, and each model has some uh, drawbacks. So the waterfall model have the major drawback of is we move to the next stage only when the previous one is finished and there was no chance to go back if something found wrong in the lateral stages. So in waterfall model backtracking is not possible. We cannot go back and fix the errors when we found it on another stages, another next stages. So for that to overcome this drawback, this V model came up to overcome the drawback of the waterfall model. And in this model, testing starts from the requirement stage itself. From the first stage, that is requirement stage, testing is started. In this model, first all the activities go on the downward direction and at one point in time, it starts moving in the upward direction to reuse the document for the testing process and forms a V shape. So, V model is as i already said that is came up to overcome the drawbacks of waterfall model and here backtracking is possible so in this model first all the activities go on the downward direction and at one point in time it starts moving in the upward direction to reuse the test document for the testing process and forms a v shape as you can see over here in this diagram of V model, every uh, the first half of the V model is a verification phase and the another half is a validation phase. So in ver verification phase goes downwards direction and from the point that is coding point, it goes to upward direction. Okay, so it is also known as verification and validation model just because it has the verification and validation phases in it. So the V model is the type of SDLC model where process executes in a sequential manner in V shape. So as it makes a V shape, it is known as a V model. And it, this model is a type of SDLC model that is software development life cycle. Software development life cycle is nothing but the process from which we have to go for the development of the software product. Now V model is based on the association of a testing phase for each corresponding development phase. So as I said, verification is nothing but a development phase and validation is nothing but a testing phase. So in verification, we develop the product and in validation corresponding to that, we test the product. So it is based on the association of testing phase for each corresponding development stage. Development of each step directly associated with the testing phase. The next phase starts only after completion of the previous phase. That is, for each development activity, there is a testing activity corresponding to it. Let's understand by using diagram. So here in verification phase, which is going to the downward direction, we have requirement analysis, system design, architecture design, module design, 
and in validation we have unit testing integration testing system testing and acceptance testing so here as you can see over here unit testing is directly corresponding to module design integration testing is directly corresponding to architecture design system testing is corresponding to system design and acceptance testing is corresponding to requirement analysis so from the first stage testing started in v model okay yeah so the next phase starts only after completion of the previous phase for each development activity there is a testing activity so this is the diagrammatic representation of v model now let's understand what does mean by verification and validation so here verification involves static analysis technique which is done without executing the code it is the process of evaluation of the product development phase to find whether specified requirements meet or not whether it satisfies the requirement of the software product or not so in verification we do the development in validation validation involves dynamic analysis technique which is functional or non functional testing done by executing the code validation is the process to evaluate the software after the completion of the development phase to determine whether software meets the customer expectations and requirement or not so v model contains verification phase on one side of the validation phase is on the other side so in the first half of v model is verification phase and the another half is validation phase verification and validation phases are joined by coding phase as you can see over here verification and validation these phases are joined by the coding phase so Uh, and it makes the v shape thus it is called as v model now we'll see the phases in verification and validation in detail so in as i said verification is nothing but development phase and design phase so here in design phase we have requirement analysis system design architectural design and module design so requirement analysis this phase contains detailed communication with the customer to understand their requirement and expectations this stage is known as requirement gathering in this stage we have to collect all the requirements will be needing in our further stages of development so we have to collect all the requirements in this stage in system design this phase contains the system design and complete hardware and communication setup for the developing product so system design contains these complete hardware and communication setup for the developing product in architectural design system design is broken down further into modules taking up different functionalities the data transfer and communication between the internal modules and with the outside world so it is clearly understood module design in this phase the system breaks down into small modules the detailed design of modules is specified also known as low level design that is lld so this was the development phase that is verification phase and now we'll see the testing phase that is validation phase so in validation phase there are four testing phases which are 
यूनिट टेस्टिंग इंटीग्रेशन टेस्टिंग सिस्टम टेस्टिंग यूजर एक्सेप्टेंस टेस्टिंग सो यूनिट टेस्ट प्लान आर डेवलप ड्यूरिंग मॉड्यूल डिजाइन फेज दिस यूनिट टेस्ट प्लान आर एग्जीक्यूटेड टू एलिमिनेट बर्ग्स एट कोड और यूनिट लेवल that is in unit testing each and every module get tested individually so here each and every module get tested that's why it is known as unit testing each single unit each single module get tested over here integration testing so in integration testing so after completion of unit testing integration testing is performed in integration testing the modules are integrated and the system is tested integration testing is performed on the architectural design phase this test verifies the communication of modules among themselves so integration testing is test how these modules are interacted with each other how these modules are cooperate with each other so interaction between the modules test in the integration testing phase now system testing the whole system comprising the different modules and interaction between the modules whether the whole system is working well working fine or not according to the requirement according to the desirable product or not this thing we have to check we have to test in integration testing in system testing so in user so system testing test the complete application with its functionality interdependency and communication between the modules it tests the functional and non functional requirement of the development application user acceptance testing is the is performed in a user environment that resembles the production environment uat that is user acceptance testing verifies that the delivered system meets the user requirement and system is ready for use in real world or not this thing we have to test in acceptance testing so according to the requirement we gathered at the very first stage that is in the requirement analysis phase is the system producing the same and fulfill the requirements which are mentioned in the early stage or not this we have to test in the acceptance testing now the advantages and disadvantages so v model has the advantages like this is highly disciplined model and phases are completed one at a time v model is used for small projects where projects requirements are clear so we do not have any misconception regarding the requirements it should be clear simple and easy to understand and simple and easy to use this model focuses on verification and validation activities early in the life cycle thereby enhancing the probability of building an error free and good quality product so it enables project management to track progress accurately now the disadvantages are as it has high risk and uncertainty it is not good for complex and object oriented project it is not suitable for projects where requirements are not clear and contains high risk of changing this model does not support iteration of phases also it does not easily handle concurrent events so these are the advantages and disadvantages of the v model so in this session we see that a v model what is v model its concepts its diagrammatic representations each and every phase in the v model 
also its advantages and disadvantages so thank you very much